the Senate recently, and this was actually very surprising considering Joe Biden's rhetoric on legalization <laughs> during the campaign, mm -hmm. but the Senate leadership came together jointly to say, to recognize sort of that legalization is inevitable and that it's on the agenda and that later this year they want to debut some sort of legalization legislation. What do you think of this shift within federal legislation and do you, do you think it has any chance of actually moving forward? Well, it's certainly encouraging. I mean, people who have been advocating for legalization since like the late 60s, early 70s. So it's, it's taken <laughs> 50 years for them to really start taking this serious at the federal level. So it's, it's, too, it's taken too long. It, I mean, it never should have been prohibited to begin with, but it's encouraging. And I know Joe Biden said he was for decrim and not for legalization, but that's because, you know, his son, Bo Biden, had suffered from drug addiction. I don't remember what right. the drug was. I don't really care too much about the details, but a lot of times you find politicians that are against it it's also because they have a close relative who suffered a drug addiction that wasn't cannabis, but you know, they lump all the legal, illegal drugs together. Right, it's never cannabis, <laughs> but they just decide no, that that's no. an, a good excuse for some reason. Yeah, but I do think it's, I do think it's possible. I mean, you have the leadership in the Senate and the leadership in the House that support it. I mean, and, uh, the vice president supports it. I think I think Joe Biden will come around. And uh I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But I didn't see I didn't two years ago I wouldn't have thought that we'd be at this point. So it is entirely possible that we can see the change at the federal level within the next couple of years.